Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of JR14. And if you missed the last episode, the last episode actually was about the Boss Audio Systems head unit that I just put in the car. Um, I'm doing two installs in one day, so if you wanted to see that video, click in the upper right hand corner of the screen. But this video is now we have the good head unit with the actual power that it's supposed to put out to the speakers. Now we're actually going to change the speakers. So without further ado, let's go and I'm going to show you guys what I got. All right, so basically looking at this, this is pretty much junk. Um, so these two are the JBL um, Concert Series speakers. These are the, the front ones are gonna be the Concert 621Fs, and the rears are gonna be the Concept 9631Fs. Uh, uh, now these are for the rear, these are six by nines in the rear deck, and these are for the front doors, which are actually six by six. But it's six, I think it's six by six and a half or no, I'm sorry, six by five. Um, and these should just bolt right in and plug and play. Also, um, I did get this. I didn't say this in the last video, but I got the boss head unit and these speakers both from clutch, uh, Crutchfield. Um, and it's been actually a really good process. They actually have a really good system on their website that shows, um, for your car, will it fit and everything else. And they also provide other things. So for instance, in the box here, I actually did they actually did provide me wiring harnesses and hardware um to do this so for instance we're not going to be splicing anything it's going to be plug and play and actually hopefully i don't have to splice anything because i th this car actually i did not own brand new so it's definitely going to be pretty different when we take everything apart and see everything else but without further ado let's go ahead and install the speakers i'm going to show you one of the fronts and i'm going to show you how to replace one of the rears and it should be pr relatively pretty simple to do without any hiccups or headaches so wish me luck guys to do is just like use a flathead screwdriver like i used right here and then these just pop out i think just be careful uh with popping these out now uh these are the oh these are definitely the originals they're you can hear that they're paper they're crap and we're going to be replacing them with these new uh speakers now let's just show you the difference really quickly all right, so pretty much I have the comparison here. These are the original speakers that came with the Civic back in 1999. They are pioneers. Uh, they're pretty much paper, though. If you like, look at this. This looks like, if you can hear that. Now, this is the JBL um, Concert 621Fs. And as you can see, there's this is a two-way. So it has a, sweet, a tweeter and the... Um, you know and it has the actual other part of the speaker the cone part of the speaker with the tweeter in the center now these are three-way for the rear so um as you can see they're a little bit different in size um i'm not going to try to use any screws in this i'm actually going to see how they are with actually um putting them in because it actually sits really snugged inside i'm sure with vibrations it's going to mess around a little bit but hopefully i won't need an adapter for this i'm going to try to figure something out Without having to worry about it uh, without worrying about having to screw it in so we're gonna see what we can do with this all right so here's what I did so I pretty much used one of these connectors so these connectors actually work with the wire the existing harness and then you would just plug these connectors to the back of the speaker now you can't mess these up because one I don't know if you guys can see that but one is wider than the other so you really can't screw that up um, now what I did here these actually are as far as the tolerance between them, it's very tight. So I just pushed it in. And if it does come out, then I will find another way to get this to mount. But um, that's the way it's going to sit in there. And this looks a lot better than the existing one. And the cover should fit over it too, which I'm going to see right now. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. Yep. So the cover, it's it covers it so it's perfectly fine <laughs> i rolled the window all the way down so there's a plate that the speaker can't go past so these actually fit in the oem location i wanted some oem speakers i didn't want anything crazy i didn't want anything um where i had to do any custom wiring or custom amperage or anything like that these will work well with that head unit to ensure that i won't have any issues and great sound throughout so i'm going to do the other side and then i'm going to show you guys the back 
All right, so excuse my trunk. So basically, these are the rear speakers here. Like I said, they are originals. It looks like they have the original connectors on them uh, on both sides. So this one's a little bit more, this one is definitely gonna be a little bit more challenging, I would say, just because of the fact that we have to remove the top cover off the back seat. So the first thing you wanna do, there's these tabs on both sides, this one and this one, and you're gonna push down the seats. <laughs> So now we can work where we need to work. Uh, you're also gonna disconnect the speakers on both sides. So there's a connector here. There we go. And the connector on this side. Uh, here we go. All right, so the next thing that we have to do, this rear cover has to come off. You can get to, I believe they're held in by four screws. Three of the screws you're gonna be able to get to, but there's gonna be one that's gonna be underneath the trim. So I'm gonna show you a technique where you don't have to remove the whole thing. Uh, it's just a couple of pins that you guys have to push up. Then you realize that the cover is loose to the point where you can go ahead and get a screwdriver in there and remove it. So hopefully for me, for my sake, it's not too hard. So again, wish me luck. All right, so new day. I actually uh, had to do something so I couldn't finish the rear speaker install the last time, but it's another day. And I actually went ahead and tried this myself. And I watched a couple of YouTube videos on this, but you can actually pull this from the bottom. Uh, I'm sorry, from the from the bottom here, there was you know the, the trim piece for the lock here. Uh, you have to unplug the light for the third brake light. And you also have to unscrew the uh, child lock here. But um, I'm able, I was able to get the speakers out. Now this one was blown, but literally look at this. No effort at all. Like it's literally paper. This one was like this already. Where's the other speaker? I just had it. Oh, it's right in here. So this was the other speaker. This, that's why I was getting that stupid sound. But when you take the tray out, um, when you actually take the rear deck cover off, um, it's a lot easier to get to everything. I actually was prying on these uh the grills i don't know if you can see that right here um these clips broke very easily so i'm just going to pop these back in place and 3m them from the inside so we don't have that issue again um now it's pretty much just easy for me you can see a regular screwdriver i mean i already had this tool i watched another youtuber that said you can lift up the grills and these two screws are hard to get to behind the, the grills so it was just high enough to get this in here but you can't see the screws so it was a pain but um as soon as i was tugging on this um it ended up to break free so now um, i'm just able to pretty much do this and be able to get everything out so i just want to let you guys know i'm gonna go ahead and drop the new speakers in and it's smooth sailing from here like i said there's a clip for them on the inside here uh there, there's somewhere in here uh but there's somewhere there yeah, right here so there is one here and there's one after i take out this speaker on the other side but now we're going to put in the jbls and it should sound a lot better throughout the entire cabin so let's go all right, so got one of the speakers in. I have to tighten it down, of course. Uh, this is a three-way. It's actually, I'll actually put up the types of speakers here. Like I said in the intro of the video, these are the Concert 9631Fs. I heard pretty good things about these. Um, 225 peak watt, um, watts, which is fine because I don't have my music playing loud all the time. Um, I have my music loud before because I only did the front speakers. I had this like for like a week with just the front speakers and it didn't work out well. Um, also, these are pretty cool. I do have these for the rear as well. So the connectors for the front and the rear are the same. So, you know, pretty much once we plug everything in, which I believe is right over here somewhere. Yep. As you can see, it's like right here. That plug, I pretty you pretty much use this adapter. So I'll show you that with the other side, with the other speaker. So the other speaker here, compared to the speakers, actually really quickly before I do that. Um, all right. So pretty much these are the speakers right here. This is the difference. So this is a three way. So it has you know other components built into it, and also it's a much bigger, robust speaker. This is the stock speaker. It's made out of like this has a, a like a a flex to it so it absorbs sound better um this is paper so literally i could poke my whole hand through it and literally like it's that easy it's all old and this is the original speakers that came with the car i think these are pioneers and they are um assembled in mexico but yeah 15 normals 15 watts the max is 30 watts so literally something like this um it's not it's trash i'm not even going to keep these i'm just going to throw them away now for the 
Now for the components, now for the wiring, very easy. Um, you can't mess this up. You take the adapters, the adapters come like this. And as you can see, one is wider than the other. And as you can see on these connectors over here, the one's wider than the other. So all you have to do is just match them up. Like so. So pretty much, it's, ah. So they pretty much slide in like that. And then you just plug the connector to the existing harness that's in the car, which is, like I said, is on inside of those. And then you just drop it in. And then you put the screws in and then you just put everything back. Oh, didn't mean to hit the window. Try not to hit your window. That'll be wise. So again, and they're heavier too. Like that was a big difference. Like these are much heavier than the stock ones. So they'll be able to absorb more sound and the magnet on the bottom of these is bigger too. So pretty cool. Uh, they do they don't hang as low as i thought they would since they're bigger but yeah so now all i'm going to do now is i'm going to get this cover on um i'm going to put the i'm going to get these speakers you know tightened buttoned up at the top i'm going to um screw them down and they will cover everything back up and then uh we will see how they sound all right guys so excuse the mess got a bunch of like just my jacket and stuff back here but when it comes down to just really quickly when it comes down to replacing these rear speakers now this is what i was saying before there was a way there is a way where you can actually take these grills out um i don't recommend it because literally you will it's not if you break these tabs you're going to break these tabs that's pretty much the only thing about that you are going to snap these tabs off so i ended up just taking out the whole shelf itself as you can see here you kind of like I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but like, you know, if you try to pull out the grills, you will nick right here is a perfect example. Like you'll nick the plastic. Um, I did it on this side to this side. I was able to get out, but I literally broke three of the six clips uh, holding this in place. Um, so I would not recommend doing it this way. I recommend pulling down your seats like I was showing you in a previous clip. And then there's these little tabs underneath. You push them up with like a, a, a needle nose pliers. And then the whole thing you just pull up after you know taking this trim out right here after taking this trim out after unbolting this uh the child lock for the for the child seat then you'll be able to get everything out uh as far as the front's concerned let's move to the front i'll show you how i got those installed all right so all you have to do like i said this will sit in like this pull use a flathead screwdriver and pop it out and then you'll get access to the speaker like i showed you in the install portion of this now what i realize is after just putting it in they do sit snug in its place in this circle the problem is is that the vibration of the speaker is aggressive so it's going to actually just fall out it won't fall out to where this pops out it'll just fall out to the point where it will sit against this and it'll start rattling so what i ended up doing um i actually pulled the speaker back out i put 3m in this lip here so this lip behind the lip i put 3m double-sided tape all the way around and I used one of the screws and just screwed into the plastic. I knew I was never going back to stock, so I really don't care at this point. Uh, I may put another one in eventually, but so far, so good. This one screw has held it in with no problems at all. I've had these speakers in here for about a couple weeks now, a few weeks, and no issues with it at all. So if you're going to do that, um, it's a $1,000 car. I really don't care about this plastic piece right here. Um, so I would just recommend doing it that way. But what I want to do now really quickly, I want to go ahead, turn on the car, get everything set up, and I want to display some sound for you guys. So without further ado, let's go and turn on the car, turn on the radio, and let's see how she sounds. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead, get this car started real quick. I'm going to try to do it. I'm trying to do it with the windows closed because I want you to see how well the speakers do sound just just upgrading the speakers um but and i have to do this quick because there's no ac in the car and it's hot today so all right starts up every time all right so like i said if you haven't seen this video yet you know make sure you click in the upper right hand corner of the screen so you can check out this video of the boss uh head unit be7 acp install video um all right, so we're gonna hit agree with that. That's the interface. I'm gonna plug up my phone. I do have some non-copyrighted music that I can play. Just a second here, go to Spotify. Sorry, the screen's kind of dirty. It does, this, this dead unit does collect fingerprints really easily. It 
Let's see if we can find something cool. Like I said, this Raider Dead unit does have Apple CarPlay. Bass is fire though. For, for stock speakers, I mean for like replacement speakers. Like I like clarity in music too, so you get that. So again, these are two champ these are two-way on the doors, and they're three ways in the backs. So all of it is JBL. So you see the difference, right? That's what I'm talking about. I think these speakers cost me about a hundred and either 150 to 170 dollars for all four from Crutchfield. And for not replacing the amp, I didn't replace the amp. I'm still on the OEM Honda amp that comes with the car. I upgraded the head unit in the previous video and I upgraded just the speakers, just a plug and play setup to just make it sound better. Now, if I got an amp, I can fine tune the speakers even more and get even more power to the speakers to have even better sound. But for this, for what I wanted to do right now, absolutely perfect i got the base that i want from the rear without a subwoofer i do not have a subwoofer in my trunk i don't have an eight inch i don't have a 10 inch or a 12 um it would i know the bases would be deeper with a sub but this was a budget build something that i can just get by because the stock speakers were just not doing it for me but that's going to conclude this video of the speaker install the jbl speaker install upgrade for the budget Civic build. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you are curious of what speakers are actually put in the car and the head unit, I'll put all of that in the description down below so you guys can figure out exactly what I bought to set everything up exactly the same way as me if this is the route that you're trying to go, okay? All right, so like again, like, share, subscribe to JR14. You guys always remember where we actually take our speaker game from the bottom level and now we raise it up. You guys always remember that cars are a lifestyle.